Welcome to the latest edition of ESPN Crick Info Weekly. I'm Dan Thomas. Well, less than 20 years ago, Rwanda was gripped by a mass genocide where up to a million people were murdered. The country has made great strides since those dark days and sporting activity is on the increase. Cricket is one such sport gaining in popularity and the national T20 side is competing in the ICC Africa Division 3 Championship in Johannesburg. As Dan Williams reports, Rwanda are on their way to gaining promotion back to Division 2. This arena may lack the history of Lords or the standing of the MCG, but Willowmore Park's seafield on the outskirts of Johannesburg can at least claim to be the venue for a wee bit of history for Rwanda. This is an ICC Africa Division 3 T20 group match. Eight teams battle it out for two promotion spots. Standing in Rwanda's way on this occasion was Cameroon, who won the toss and put Rwanda into bat. Rwanda went into the match having won one and lost the other, so they needed victory here to keep their promotion hopes alive. Their batsmen quickly found their stride, with openers Andre Kayatia and Dong Magisha scoring freely. The score was on 53 when Magisha fell in the sixth over. But that brought 17-year-old Bob Songa to the crease and he accelerated the score along with Kayatia, although they were helped by some comical Cameroon fielding. In the end, Rwanda managed 190 from their 20 overs, surpassing their previous highest score of 125. Kayatia top scored with 66 of 49 balls. In reply, Cameroon made a slow start. Wickets fell at regular intervals as Rwanda piled on the pressure. In the end, Cameroon were easily swept aside. They were all out for 87, Rwanda winning by 103 runs. So victory for Rwanda in a sport that is quickly gaining popularity in the country. There in Rwanda, the popular game is soccer, but now we start pushing and putting people in schools so that we are now improving our cricket. Because now in development, there are more schools starting playing cricket, universities and more clubs. We are now have 10 clubs, so it's got coming to be popular. Rwanda! Colin Silla is the coach of the team, a Scotsman. He joined up the side in February. The, uh, the, there's no reason why in 10 years' time they could be in the World Cricket League, maybe in Division 7 or 8, um, and looking maybe to become, um, certainly have seasonal contracts. In the meantime, Rwanda can at least take heart from performances like this one. In Johannesburg, Dan Williams, ESPN. <laughs> Well, that's all from this edition of ESPN Crick Info Weekly. For more from around the world of cricket, stay tuned on your favourite device. Goodbye for now. <laughs>